Okay, the whole world needs an emotional intelligence lesson right now. Uh, so I'm gonna give it to you the best way that I ever learned it, and it's pretty simple to understand. So here's your big, beautiful brain. Don't be laughing at my art skills. All right, here are all the little noodles that make all the things that make you very special little unicorn that you are. This is your brain stem. So when you get information or a stimuli, let's just say you stepped in dog shit on the way to work, you're like, ah, right? That information enters here, and the first thing it hits is your amygdala. Right, so your amygdala, there's something what we call an amygdala hijack, where you can get really freaked out. Something real, like this, is, this emotion hits me and my whole body goes Shh, and assigns a quick response. That is stems from when we were a little caveman and cave women deciding if we were gonna fight T-Rex or run away from him, okay? So the first thing you need to do is allow that emotion to pass through the amygdala. Because this is where emotional responses start firing away good or bad, depending on which ones you assign to a certain response that you get. What you need to allow happen is that emotion to travel all the way to your frontal cortex. And it takes a minute, because you gotta make it through all the little squiggling lines that make you a special unicorn. Here is where special things happen, like logic and reason, right? And consequences. You wanna know what are the consequences of my action, right? So. Then, when you've evaluated what is a logical response to a certain piece of emotion or stimuli or action that's happened to you, you assign the logical response back to what the output is, and hopefully you have better outcomes to whatever's happening in your life. You, there's something called mileage. So if you were able to do this over and over again, how emotional intelligence works is it tends to, you see it higher in people who have more years on us, right? A little bit older a little bit more experience in certain situations. And what happens is they've, they've had early on in their life, certain emotions pop in, they've made some bad decisions, and they've evaluated that that wasn't a good outcome because I made an emotional decision. As they get older, they learn to pause, stop, think, and assess what the situation is, and allow that information to travel. They start assigning the appropriate responses back, and they have better outcomes in their decisions. And when they continue to do that, it becomes faster. It's like a dirt road. If I'm walking through a jungle, I'm hacking my way through the jungle, the first time it's real slow. The next time I walk that path, I start beating down the dirt. If I keep walking that path over a course of a year, I can get back and forth between point A and point B really quickly. So now, when a similar stimuli comes in, or I stepped in a piece of dog shit, and last time I did that, I freaked out and yelled at my wife, right? Now, I know that I go, uh, that's not the proper response. Just sit back and go, you know what? I wish it was better, but at least the dogs are happy in my neighborhood and everybody feels comfortable enough to take a crap in my yard. And I live in a great place, the great old United States of America. Let's just let that one pass and go on with my day. And that's emotional intelligence. Your goal is to build up this myelin. And the more responses that come in and you assess how the outcomes have gone, the more you hopefully get better outcomes there. All right, happy election day, fam.